In this video I'll be doing a head swap, so I'm going to put the head of a dog on a man's body. So I'm first going to go to the stock studio and then I'm going to type in man and then I'm going to drag that picture over and then I'm going to the move tool and I'm going to zoom out and resize it. And now I need to find a picture of a dog, so I'm going to go back to the stock studio and type in dog. And again, I'm going to drag that over. And then I'm zooming out and resizing it. I then need to flip the dog so it's facing the other way so I'm going to go to the transform studio and just flip it. And now I want to make a selection around the dog so I can remove the background. So I'm going to go to the selection persona and then I'm clicking on the smart selection brush. and I'm just going to paint over the dog. And then I want to refine the selection a bit, so I'm going to the Refine Selection tool. And then I'm going to change the output to mask and once I'm happy with it I'm going to click apply. So I don't want the back of the dog to go over the collar. And this bit doesn't matter because I'm going to fix that later with a mesh warp. And then when I'm happy with it I'm going to bring the opacity back up. And then I'm going to go to the Filter Studio and I'm going to Distortions and then I'm going to find the Mesh Warp. And I basically just want to pull in the dog's neck a bit. And then I'm going to click apply. And then I'm just going to lower the opacity again. And then I want to start cutting away the bit of the dog that overlaps onto the shirt. So I'm going to go to the pen tool and I'm changing the mode to smart. And then I'm just going to start making a line around the collar
and then I'm clicking to selection and then I'm going to bring the opacity back up and then using the erase tool I'm just going to paint that away and then deselect and now I need to paint away the man's face so I'm going back to that picture and then I'm going to use the clone brush and I'm just going to clone the wall to paint over it And then once I've got rid of it, I can then add a pixel layer and then go to the paintbrush tool and then colour select the darker part of the wall. And I'm going to bring the opacity down. And then I'm just going to start painting that back in. And then I want to clear up some of the darker patches, so I'm going to go to the in painting brush and bring the opacity down and then just paint over it again. And then while I'm on that layer, I'm going to go to the erase brush and I'm going to remove some of it that I accidentally painted over the man and then I'm going to go back to the paintbrush and I'm basically just cleaning it up until there's no patches
So now I want to add some shadow onto the dog from the collar. So I'm going to add a new pixel layer and I'm dragging that on to the dog. And then I'm going to the paintbrush and then I'm going to select one of the darker parts of the dog. And I'm just painting that on um, around where the collar is. And then I'm changing that to multiply and then I'm bringing down the opacity. And then I'm going to do the same again. And I'm changing that to multiply again. And I think I'm going to push the neck in a bit more. So I'm going back to the dog. And then I'm going to distortions. And then mesh warp. And then apply. And then I'm going to lower the opacity. And then I'm going to add a mask layer. And I'm changing the colour to black. And then I'm just going to remove the bit that's overlapping. And then bring in the opacity back up. And then I'm going to add another pixel layer, which will be on the dog. I'm just going to add a bit more shadow. So now I want to remove this line that's around the dog. So I'm going to add a mask layer. And then with the paintbrush tool, I'm going to lower the opacity. And make the brush size quite small. I'm just going to paint that away. Thank you. 
and now I'm going to add the picture frame that's in the wall so I'm going back to the stock studio and I'm just going to type frame and then find one I like and then I'm just going to resize it and now I want to cut it out so I'm going to the stock studio and then I'm going to make a selection over the edges And then I'm going to add a mask layer and then deselect and then I'm going to do the same again but on the inside to remove the white. And then I'm going to go back to the photo persona and then using the erase tool I'm just going to paint that away. and then deselect and then I want it to be sideways so I'm going to go to the transform studio and then just flip it And then I want to find a picture of a football so I'm going back to the stock studio and I'm just going to type in ball and then drag that in and then I'm going to drag that underneath the frame And then I'm just positioning it and then I want to go back to the selection persona and I'm using that same rectangular tool and then I'm going to make a selection around the picture frame and then add a mask layer and then deselect and then I'm going on that picture of the football and I just want to bring the saturation down so I'm going to add a HSL adjustment and I'm going to drag that on top and then slide the saturation down and then I want to make a bit of a reflection on the frame so I'm adding a pixel layer and then I'm going to the paintbrush and I'm changing the colour to white and then I'm just going to paint a line across and then I'm going to the filter studio and I'm going to blares I'm just going to add a Gaussian blur and then click apply and 
and then I'm going to the picture of the frame and I want to make a shadow on the wall so I'm going to the layer effects studio and I'm going to click outer shadow and I'm bringing the radius up And then I'm adding a shadow on the inside, so I'm going to click in a shadow and I'm just going to do the same. And then I'm going to click 3D. And then I'm going to that um, white line that I made and I'm just going to bring down the opacity a bit. And then I'm adding a curves adjustment and I'm dragging that to the very top of the layers. And I'm bringing the whites down and the blacks up a bit. And then I'm going to the reds and then I'm bringing the top point across which will add some reds into the highlights and then I'm bringing the bottom one to the right which will add some blue into the shadows and then I'm going to go to the blue and I'm going to bring the top one down which will add some yellow and then the bottom one up which will add some blue. So then I'm adding a pixel layer and I'm dragging that onto the dog and I want to start adding some light which will be coming from the laptop. So I'm using white and I'm just going to paint over the front of the dog's face and neck. And then I'm changing that to soft light. And then I want to do the same with the man, so I'm going to add another pixel layer and drag that on top. But because the man hasn't been cut out, I just need to be careful where I put it.
and I'm changing that to soft light as well. And then I'm going to bring the opacity down. And then I want to add some shadow, so I'm going to make a new pixel layer and I'm changing the colour to black. And I'm just painting that over the areas that are already dark. And then I'm going to change that to multiply and bring the opacity down. I'm going to the erase tool and I'm just removing some of these lines. And then I want to do the same for the dog so I'm adding another pixel layer. Going back to the paintbrush and I'm using black again. I'm just going to paint it on the back of the dog's neck. I'm um, a bit at the top of the head and ear. And then a bit under his mouth. And again, change that to multiply. And then I'm just going to add one more pixel layer and I'm dragging that to the dog. And I just want to make a bit more shadow here. And then I'm going to go to blares, I'm going to turn on add live filters and then I'm using a depth of field blur and again I'm just going to make sure that's at the top of the layers. And then I'm just going to put the centre circle around the dog. And then I'm going to bring the clarity up and the vibrance. And then I'm bringing the radius up. And then protect alpha. And then I'm just clicking protect alpha. 